Hello guys, in this lesson we are going to use a useful application for debugging. For example, if you want to see the output signal after processing, you can use this simple method without an oscilloscope or any other hardware. Just use the serial port and connect it to the computer and install the serial port plotter. You can download it from GitHub. I put the link in the caption, don't forget to press the star button for that repository. It's the least you can do for a publisher. I have already downloaded and it is ready to use. In its readme, we need to find the acceptable format for the data. Here it is. We need to use this format to send UART data. Let's open the project and give it a try. I wouldn't change anything because UART was enabled with the default CubeMX setup. Set the project name and select the compiler and generate the project. I have written the code, and want to show you now. For example, I want to create a sine wave. The easiest way is to use a lookup table. You can generate it by many online apps. I have selected this app and put its link in the caption for you. You can create many waveforms by selecting from this menu. And you can config many thing like amplitude, offset, number of samples, and data type. By pressing the generate button, you can see the output array and copy and use it. I have pasted it in main.c. Also, for generate the string, we need to include these two header files. And one array to store the string. Our array has 256 points and we need a loop of this length. And we convert each point of array with correct format for our plotter application. And send the string with UART transmit function. Now, compile and program the project and watch the result. Open the plotter application and select correct baud rate, stop bit, and parity. And select minimum and maximum of data to showing better in app. Here you go, a perfect sine wave. Also you can see the raw data. Now I want to add another waveform and show it simultaneously. I have selected sawtooth wave. Generate and copy the array. Paste and rename it. Add another integer by a space into the string. Compile and program and see the result. Perfect. Now we can see two waves at same time. If you find my video helpful, please subscribe and support me. Thank you.